I think it's been like way beyond my um, way beyond my expectations. It's been an absolutely fascinating experience just sitting across amazing entrepreneurs, founders, investors, uh, CEOs, right? Right? And very different journeys for all of them. But just learning from them and seeing how our viewers related to some of the things that were spoken about was quite amazing. Of course, uh, uh, as someone who's promoted and produced the, the the show, to see people in the hundreds of thousands kind of follow um, is amazing. To see love coming in, to see people every day dropping in messages about, I learned this, I want to start up, how do I raise money, here is my idea. We, I am sure you have also seen, we get pitch decks on Instagram. So. To see that is amazing and, and to know that there is just so much more potential is, is, is quite fascinating. So I'm thrilled beyond, beyond expectation. I think as we discussed, right, India is moving from an economy of job uh, seeking to job creation. I think everyone has to become entrepreneurial, whether they're in a job or whether they run their own business or in any profession that they choose. Uh, but next 20 years are crucial for India and to take advantage of the young demographic. Um, I think the barber shop essentially is a is a is a, is an institution that is nudging people in that direction. That's what we want. So anyone who comes and sees any of our episodes, sees any of our content, sees any of our uh, you know posts, I hope it's a small nudge in the direction of becoming more entrepreneurial. Wonderful. I think I respond to a lot of our LinkedIn comments myself. I don't know if people are thinking that the barbershop with Chantanu has many people, but I am one of the more active admins of the social handles. And I absolutely love it. I think we are planning a, uh, some live sessions and some AMAs. And I think that's the next wave of the barbershop where you will get engaged with more. I think interviews with successful people is one of many, many things that we will do. So yeah, I, I think looking forward to interact more. Uh, but more in a positive way. I don't want to do, you know, sensational stuff and so on. Yeah, we were talking about this. I think the Ashish moment around finding a gap on the roads of Katak and moving in. If you see a gap, you just barge in. And, um, Ankur's, uh, you know, uh, entire thesis around building a content business and the economics of that. To give you a split, about 40% of the revenue is courses. 25% is brand collaborations, 15% are speaking gigs, corporate events and so on. Toshan was just so insight rich, right? He just dropped bomb after bomb. See, I think to me, the whole philosophy of life is regret minimization. If I think about something for three months, if it just doesn't let me sleep, kar do. I think Rohit um, Kapoor was fabulous in just talking about perspective building as a CEO and why life is more important than profession. Uh, sort of when you have a lot of energy, you, have, you start developing the wisdom. And when you have a lot of wisdom, you have don't know energy sometimes. And there's a very finite period in life when you have both. Uh, Rohit Bansal was just an amazing combination of humility and wisdom. And building Snapdeal, of course, was just so up and down for him. But the way he came across was amazing. Entrepreneurs of today's generation as well, who are starting their businesses now, some things are much easier, but the competition is also much more intense. So I don't think, you know, I'm definitely not of the belief system that our time was difficult, now it's easy to do it. Aman, such a successful entrepreneur, but so casual, takes himself so easily. You know, if you don't need money, then you can go to Rishikesh and settle there, right? Haridwar, go and relax. You don't have any tension, you know? Bhavna was fabulous, um, just building such a different business. And her points of view were so strong, came from so much conviction. I think the answer is very simple. We're trying to build something that's from India for the world, right? And because we're building on marketplaces, the world is very easy to cater to. Um, Vinita is an absolute OG, right? I think uh, um, just very, very clear about the business she's building. She came with her kids for the shoot. Uh, and, and just to see that was, was amazing. So we are very clear about building the right content and community. So women are only coming here to discuss makeup, beauty, confidence and all of that. Um, and if we are able to build the largest community, eventually it will lead to a brand. And Revant, of course, was is, is a close friend and board member. But to see him uh, become, you know, I think for, for me, the Revant interview was all about 
gratitude and investing in people so the way he spoke about arti his wife and and all the people who have helped him was 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 amazing so, like we have a couple of people who have not even done graduation yeah. so the hr asked me this is not an asset koi farak nahi padta correct kaam karne ki nishtha hai kabiliyat hai kya farak padta tumhe graduation hai nahi hai correct right uh it's very encouraging to see first year second year students now applying for internships amazing no amazing yeah i think everyone was was very unique uh one thing that i've learned about myself or i think the process of doing this um is that the struggle of entrepreneurship is different for everyone but is real for everyone like i'm not alone like you know as as someone in bombay shipping company i always felt that i have it i've had it harder than others but i could not be more wrong i think just knowing people's journeys and what their struggles are and how hard it has been for them has been humbling for me one personal thing that i've kind of uh, learnt about myself is that um is that i think uh being able to get people to be vulnerably honest is a skill i have i did not think i had it before i was very good in social conversations i never thought i'd be good in front of camera but after a few minutes and of course by coaching from all of you i have realized that i can hold a conversation i can probe deeper i can kind of catch interesting themes uh, in people's minds and kind of uh, peel the onion for them right so for me that's uh, it's a great skill to have and i'm hoping i can use it off camera as well uh, entrepreneurship is hard uh, so but it is extremely rewarding so try and do it in whatever way you can if you know entrepreneurs in your family in your friend circles do your best to encourage them buy their products talk about their products talk about their services whatever they are doing um and third is if you have excess capital if you are earning good money you are saving some instead of putting 20 30% of your savings in mutual funds and fds maybe take 5% of that and start deploying it in in angel syndicates and uh, find uh, private equity type uh, opportunities be a part of the ecosystem in whatever you can either as a consumer as an investor as a founder yourself and if you feel that building a career in a in a startup is a way to do it please please take it as a real opportunity but become a part of the ecosystem and 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 uh, be a be a, i think it's the most important thing that india will do over the next 20 years is to build enterprise so be a part of it otherwise you'll regret it all right guys thank you so much uh, for being a part of season 1 uh, i'm hoping that this effort was uh, something that you enjoyed uh, we are thinking hard about season 2 and all the other amazing things that we are going to do um, our 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 objective and goal remains pristine around helping entrepreneurship ecosystem in india um if you have suggestions for us please write in engage uh, my email id is on my linkedin profile all our social handles are absolutely active we're always listening uh, so reach out uh, any time like follow subscribe uh, all of that usual stuff but more importantly uh, just uh, uh, engage and watch and give us feedback and all the very best we're always here for you thank you so much take care